What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Barron Productions for another video. I hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day right now. As you guys might be able to tell, well not really, there's no palm trees here, but I am in the beautiful sunshine state of Florida. And yes, that took me a couple tries to say because it is such a tongue twister. In the sun, sun God damn, I can't talk. Say that three times fast, I dare ya. Might be a little windy right here now, but guys, we are bringing you a fresh episode of Mustang Madness, and I know it's been quite some time since I've released an episode, and today we have a guest that has helped me out tremendously, and it's honestly why I'm here in Florida right now for the second time in like two months, but I'm not complaining. He's also an automotive YouTuber, so make sure you guys go show some love. His link's gonna be in the description. There's gonna be some cards popped around here in this video and stuff. Without further ado, everyone, let's jump right on into this. I would like to introduce Jonathan Harder. What's going on guys? Jonathan Harder and this is my 2007 Mustang GT. All right guys, so as you guys can see, this is the Mustang right here. You can see it's definitely not stock. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna just give you a quick gist of the Mustang real quick, and then after that, we'll go into deep detail on the car after we show you a little bit of what's going on. Let's go ahead and get started. We have the front bumper. We have the Eleanor front bumper. And then as you can see, if you work your way to the left, we have an entire wide body kit on the Mustang. After the wide body kit, we're gonna go to the wheels. And these wheels, they are the Forge Stars F14 Deep Concaves. I got them custom colored. Um, they're in between a matte and a gloss black. It was called like a, uh... hold on, give me a pause right there. Oh, semi-gloss black. You have to get them custom made. That's what I went ahead and did because I didn't want matte and I really didn't want gloss. So I wanted like a good in-between and they went ahead and delivered. So moving on to the back, we have, as you can see, the rear fenders for the wide body kit continuing from the front. Clearly see now is the spoiler. It's a two-piece spoiler. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite mod, believe it or not, on this car. Custom made it. I can't believe it actually fit because I'll tell you guys later, that spoiler is not made for a Mustang. So let's continue. We have carbon fiber, you know, hinted around the car. Gen 5 taillights, quad exhaust, Corsa extremes. And then to finish it up, we got GT500 rear bumper that's the gist of my mustang and everything and the main reason why i got this mustang is because i absolutely loved gts and i love the v8s like ever since i was 16 i've always had like a v6 so i wanted to go a little bit of an upgrade so i went with a v8 and this is the premium package and i absolutely loved it i got it when i was a sophomore in college i'd say about 65,000 miles on it currently it has a little over a hundred thousand right now but i love this car i would never ever sell it it's my baby and if you guys would like to check this out more there will be a card right up there and if you guys would like subscribe to my channel jonathan harder so now we're going to get into things we're going to get into specific details of the mustang what it's called where i got it and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started we'll start in the front we have the eleanor front bumper uh, Cervini's as well say either or but whatever and then from there we have the 2010 style front headlights absolutely love those we have the bullet style front grille I don't know if I'm gonna leave this silver or if I should color it black leave a comment down below should I leave it black or should I leave it that silver kind of look and then I also threw up a coyote badge in the front oh wait can't say that right not yet until we do the engine I'm asking you Anyways, we have the Ram Air hood. Uh, it's kind of like the Super Snake style hood. This is my favorite hood for this year body. That was actually one of the first mods I did to this car was the hood. And then from there, you can't miss it. The entire wide body kit. It's a Shirokai wide body kit. So it comes with the front bumper extensions and then it goes on the fenders right here as well as the side skirts. It continues all the way to the back and we have the rear fenders right there and that's the entire wide body kit price for it is around thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars and with that being said like i'm literally one of four people 
in the world right now that have the kit and I was actually one of the first to actually do it. Really wanted to be one of the first to have this wide body kit. You don't really see an 05 to 09 with a wide body kit unless it's fender flares. I've been talking to Shorkai and I'm the only one in Florida with this wide body kit. Other ones are in New York and California and stuff like that. So it's pretty rare and uh, I absolutely love it. I wanted to be one of the first. So with the wide body kit, you have to get some sick wheels. Forge Stars, F14s, super deep concaves. I got literally the widest offset you could possibly get for these wheels because the wide body kit, believe it or not, literally six inches wider. And then in the front, it's about almost four inches wider, which is absolutely absurd. Even with the widest offset, I still have to run spacers for everything to line up and work correctly. On our way to the back, first things first, we have the spoiler. This is the number one comment and like question that I get. Where did I get the spoiler from? So here's where I got it from. MMD ducktail spoiler right here. And then on top, we have an anvil wicker build, which believe it or not, this is for a Camaro. I just measured a Camaro spoiler to see if it would work. And it just happened to work perfectly and it flows perfect with the spoiler. On to the next thing, we have quad tips. We have course extremes. Before we go any further with this review, my favorite things about this car, actually it might be my favorite, is the exhaust. Absolutely insane, so loud, and I love it. <laughs> that we have the GT 500 or California special rear bumper and I plan to get like you know a big diffuser or something and put it underneath there and keep building this car it's nowhere near done okay nowhere near done I do love the way it looks right now so that pretty much wraps up the entire Fuck, let's restart <laughs> So that pretty much wraps up the entire exterior. Now let's work our way to the heart of the Mustang. A lot of people call this a three valve. Little do they know, that is not what's in here. <laughs> Just like that, we have a coyote swap. And even on top of that, it's boosted. Love it. So as I said, this is a Coyote swap. This is from a 2013 F-150 5 and I've been getting a lot of comments saying it's not a Coyote. It's a Coyote swap. The only There's only a couple differences between the F-150 and the Mustang. Pretty much converted to a Mustang motor. The only difference now are the cams and the compression ratio, and I'm changing out the cams. I'm putting blower cams in here. So let's go ahead and start off with the intake manifold. This is actually a 1819 intake manifold almost just as good as a cobra jet gonna port this thing very soon the next thing as you guys can clearly see we have a p1 i'm running about 11 pounds of boost one huge thing about this blower is that it's really really loud and on top of that there's a blower that makes it even more obnoxiously loud and amazing and that is the tile q50 that i have installed on here and that thing screams <laughs> The injectors that I am running, they are Dschworks 1200s. I've had no fuel problems whatsoever. My fuel pump is a Walboro 400. I plan on upgrading that so I can run E85 and uh, run more boosts and stuff like that. So the next thing from there, we have BBK ceramic coated headers, long tubes connected to that. We also have the X pipe and then we have the course extremes going out the back. So if you guys were wondering how much this entire thing costs, Coyote swap and boosted, or if you just wanted to have just the Coyote swap, I have done an entire video on how much everything costs, and I'll put a card right up here for you guys, right up there for you guys. With this engine and everything, you guys might be wondering what transmission am I running? I'm actually, believe it or not, still running the 3650 that comes with the three valve. I've also upgraded the clutch to an XZD400. Believe it or not, I'm still surprised that it's still working and not broke and holding up really well. That pretty much concludes the entire car. And with that being said, let's go for a drive. Well, with this being a boosted Mustang, we need gas.
Texas. If we can just stop spinning, that'd be great. as a good leaf blower. Well, there you have it, guys. Jonathan Harder's 2007 Coyote Swap Pro Charge wide-bodied Mustang GT, and that is a mouthful, no homo. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go subscribe to Jonathan's channel. What are you at right now, like 54,000? Uh, I think 47. 47, get them to 50K right now, guys. Links in the description, cards up in the corner. This thing's a beast, man. It has a lot of character to it. That's what a lot of people forget to acknowledge. You know, this car right here to him is like blue to me. It's been his ride or die since day one, and he's built this channel around it. So go check it out, guys. Make sure you drop your boy a like, comment down below what you think about his ride. What other cars do you want to see while I'm in Florida? Tag them in the comment section. I'll hit them up, see what I can do, and um, we'll have some fun. Again, thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow, 8 p.m., for another video. But until next time, we'll see you later.